In this very short video, we're going to be creating a web page using a simple text editor. Now, I am on Windows, so I'm going to be using Notepad. If you're on the Mac, you can use text edit. Also, you're gonna need to make some changes uh, to your text edit and potentially to your Mac keyboard. I'm talking specifically about uh, making sure it's not using the smart quotes. Now, another option, probably a better one, will be to download uh, BB Edit, formerly known as Text Wrangler, and uh, then you don't have to worry about any of those uh, issues. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. So whenever you work on uh, creating a web page, doesn't matter if it's a single one or many, you always need to save them inside a folder. So first thing we're gonna do is create a folder. So um, again, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to right click, create new, and folder. Now, the other thing that is very important here is a naming conventions. In HTML, it's very important that we stick only to using alphanumeric characters, that is letters and numbers, and we avoid any reserved characters. So uh, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm going to name it, uh, Hello, I'm gonna use a underscore to separate the worlds, uh, the words, sorry, and um, have my hello world uh, folder. folder. Once we have our folder created, uh, the second step is to open Notepad. Now, before I open Notepad, there are other, other editors that are better for uh, editing HTML and CSS, such as Atom, Sublime Text, Notepad++, Brackets. And uh, so why are we using uh, Notepad? Uh, the reason is because Notepad is installed on every uh, Windows machine, for example, and also because it's the most basic editor that you're gonna find. So once you feel comfortable uh, using Notepad, you can by all means uh, go ahead and uh, look for another editor that you like. My uh, preference will be Atom or uh, sublime text or even brackets. I love those three. All right, so um, let's go ahead and we're gonna open Notepad here. All right, so now before we uh, do anything, uh, we're actually gonna save our document we, before we add any content and we're gonna save it inside the folder we just created. So we're gonna click on file. We're gonna use the save as button here. And a couple things that are very important. So let me go to my desktop here really quick and found my folder so the hello world folder is uh, right when uh, using notepad there's a couple of things that we need to do here um, we can go about it in two different ways i can either uh, check this save as type and set it to all files and if i don't want to do that i can just enclose uh, my the name of my file in quotations and that with the extension anyway uh, i'm just gonna do it the most obvious way here i'm gonna set to all files and uh, I'm also need to change the encoding. This is important. I need to change it to UTF-8. This has to do with the way the browser identifies the character. So this is actually very important for validation. Um, one advantage of using uh, other editors that are for HTML is that you don't have to do this. So this is kind of like an extra step with, uh, with Notepad. But again, uh, just make sure you remember to do it like that. Then the file name which the default file name on any folder is gonna be always uh, index.htm or index.html. There are other extensions like CFM for Cold Fusion and uh, ASP and PHP, but those you're only going to use them the, depending on what technologies um, you are using. So for the basic stuff, uh, HTM uh, or HTML hypertext markup language extensions, right? And remember, it's important that the landing page is named index. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, save. Okay. And uh, we have our document ready uh, to start coding. All right. So a couple of things we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna first uh, declare the type of document that we have so document type now this uh, code this tag I mean let me increase the font size a little bit so it's easier to see on the screen 
that's probably a lot better, right? All right, so this is actually not part of the HTML document. What, did it, what this is, is a uh, document type declaration. So this is gonna tell the browser what rules to use when it renders the document. So in this case, is uh, this is the document type for HTML5. If you look up on the web, on the web and uh, you do a search for doc type or document uh, de uh, document type declaration, you're gonna find out the previous versions of uh, HTML use uh, a lot uh, more complex document type declarations than this one. So again, what's important again is that this is not part of the HTML, but you need to declare it. If you do not, then the browser is gonna go into quirk mode and it's gonna try to do the best it can on rendering your content, but that's gonna cause a lot of issues. So uh, that is a very important uh, tag that we need there. All right, so next uh, tag we need is uh, the HTML tag. But I also want you to notice something. When you code um, in uh, Notepad, uh, it's important to open and close your tags when uh, when you're using uh, pairs of tags. So, for example, the HTML tag, HTML that's an opening tag, and then I'm going to close it. So uh, this is again the beginning of the tag, and this is the closing of the tag. Okay, and uh, that's going to start creating the structure of the document. So um, so now we have an HTML document. Now inside the HTML document, there's always going to be uh, two sections, okay? The first one is a head tag. And again, I'm going to close it. This is extremely important that you practice opening and closing your tags. Um, editors like Atom and um, uh, brackets, they automatically close the tags for you, which is really a, a good thing, but again, you need to get the concept that it's important to do this. Imagine if I don't close the tags and, and I'm working on a large document, I'm gonna be trying to figure out which ones I left open and I'm gonna have a lot of trouble doing it. So uh, the head is one part and then the body is the other uh, part of the document here. So again, I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna close it. And um, so we have a head and a body and the HTML tag. And this is actually uh, start, uh, going to start forming the structure of the document. All right, and the good thing is we only need one more thing. We need a title on the head section. And we're gonna title this, hello, actually let's call it first page. Maybe it's not your first page, but you know, if it's your second page, just name it second page. All right, and this is the basic skeleton of the document. Now here, inside the body tag here, all content that, uh, that is uh, displayed in the browser goes here, all right? So all your content later when you add more things to it is going to be uh, uh, that is going to be displayed in the browser will go inside the body tag in the head later there's going to be uh, some tags for styles meta tags you know the viewport tag and all thing all sort of other things that are not content that are going to help your page with those goes on the head but again everything that you want to be displayed on the browser page goes in between uh, these two uh, body tags all right all right, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, test our page. So first I'm gonna save it, for so file save. All right, I'm gonna minimize the window and I'm gonna open my folder here. Right, let me drag it in here so you can see it. All right, so here's the document and it's showing as, um, showing as an icon and it's gonna open in Chrome because that's my default browser. Uh, so I'm gonna double click on it and let me bring it back here again so you can actually see it and uh, here is the content so all content that is displayed in the browser goes here all right so now let's uh, let me set this side by side here so we can we can see it all right, so I'm gonna put the there I'm gonna open notepad and let me resize it a little bit it's a good way to work, by the way, when you're uh, using Notepad here, side by side, that way you make any changes, you know, you can actually see that. So, um, 
anyway so this is the basic structure of your HTML and there's of course more but make sure you feel comfortable uh, before you move forward make sure you feel comfortable creating a page with notepad and you know and uh, coding uh, the this uh, little bit of code by uh, memory now let me do something here I'm gonna actually close this file and um, of course my uh, my file is closed now here it is but uh, how about what about if let's say that I want to change the content so now I want to edit my file uh, using notepad after it's closed it's actually very simple also I'm going to go here to my file and I'm going to right click I'm going to sell it open with now in my case um, I already have notepad here because I already selected it but if you never edited a um, a and, and there's a chance it might be on your on your right click uh, on your context menu or right click menu but if it's not there what you do is you say choose another app okay and you look for the file and uh, make sure this checkbox that says always use this app to open HTML files make sure that is not check okay so that's the uh, file associations if by mistake you do it you might have to come back select the, your browser and then make sure you always use this app to open HTML files so anyway so I'm going to select notepad from here I'm going to click OK and that opens my uh, index file again on on this now let's say I want to change this I want to just say hello world all right so again file save I'm gonna go here and I can press F5 or I can just refresh and it shows me the hello world I hope you had fun coding this uh, hello world page make sure to practice this uh, skill it's very basic but it's very important that you understand this and um, I'll see you on the next uh, video